welcome to Letterland Story Corner. Today's story is Munching Mike and the Moon by Lisa Holt. Let's meet Munching Mike. Munching Mike is a metal monster. But he's not a scary monster. He's the mildest monster you'll ever meet. He likes to munch on a mixture of things like mangoes, marshmallows and mushrooms. He also munches bits of metal and magnets. Can you hear him saying mmm as he munches? He says mmm in words like map, milk and man. Early one morning, Munching Mike woke up and called out excitedly. I can see the moon! I'd love to meet the man in the moon! Me too, said Sammy Snake, but I think the moon and the stars are a very long way away. No, they're not, said Mike. Look, the moon is just on top of that mountain. I might go and meet the man in the moon this minute. And so, that very moment, Munching Mike set off up the mountain. Sammy Snake hissed after him. Stop! It's not safe to set off. You need a rucksack and some food, a drink, a map, survival stuff. But Mike had already rolled away. Sammy Snake gathered some of his Letterland friends. Listen, I'm worried about Munching Mike. He's gone into the mountains to meet the man in the moon. He set off on his own without a rucksack or a map. We must get a mountain survival pack ready and go in search of him. Red Robot said they could borrow his rucksack. Walter Walrus put in a whistle, waterproof coats and some warm mittens. Firefighter Fred added a first aid kit, some food and a flask. Talking Tess added a torch and a mobile telephone. Clever Cat put in a compass and was careful not to forget the map. I'll start the search, said Sammy Snake. I'll come with you, insisted Impy Ink. Me too, said Talking Tess. So Sammy, Impy and Tess set off into the mountains to find Munching Mike. Munching Mike was rolling upwards towards the moon. Suddenly the sky became dark and moody. He could not see the mountain top. He could not see the moon. He could not see much at all. Mike was lost. He felt cold and scared. I want my mama, he muttered miserably. The others quickly made it up the mountain to Mike with the help of the map and compass. They had mugs of hot milk and put on warm clothes. Thank you, you're all marvellous, said Mike. Suddenly, the moon appeared once more. Mike realised that it was still many, many miles away. Never mind, he thought. My friends are more important than meeting the man in the moon. They've rescued me and have made this the most memorable, magical moment above the mist. <laughs>